doesn't have it. Put that hose undone. Turn that the fitting not on that. Well, You're right.
So these are all the old seals that were removed. Yeah. You're going to clean these bolts up and reuse them for the valve yeah, block. There's the actual spool. So this is the high speed spool, is that correct? Uh, it's your two speed. Two speed, sorry. Two speed yeah. spool. Two speed spool. Drive dog bone, so all the power goes through that bone, believe it or not, through that shaft. There's the idea of its size. And then you've got this one here, which is runs the actual valve plate, rotates the valve plate. So this has been cleaned up already. Yeah? Yeah. That's been cleaned up already. That's the valve yeah, plate this itself. Very important not to have any scratches across here, otherwise it, it will bypass and you'll have mm. low pressure. It'll bypass through the circuits and something might work better than the other. Some more support bits for the valve plate. There's a Girola. Normally, if you have this a hydraulic unit. failure, normally one of these rollers will pick up and then it'll just keep turning it around until it just pulverizes it into metal and then you just got mm. metal for the whole system. So this is the part that actually generates the torque and the power. So as it kind of works around, it compresses the fluid tighter and tighter until it, at some point it'll uh, line up with our port. Mm. Maybe, maybe a couple of them fall out. So yeah, quite nice actually. Normally a bit tighter than that if it's a new model, new machine. Yes. It'll be a lot tighter than that. This machine's got about 4,000 hours on it, so that's not too bad. I'm going to start here, so everything's been cleaned up. Ready to go back together. Just got these two blocks of wood here just to lift it off the table because we'll have uh, a shaft that runs through here and if it's uh, sitting too low then none of it will go together so come up there it doesn't matter which way this goes the same uh, on both ends so. This is just a petroleum jelly. That's what I use for putting all O-rings, drive motors back together. It works really well. As soon as oil comes through there, it uh, cleans it all out. So it doesn't get trapped in there or cause any dramas. It just melts straight out. <laughs> and jelly is just holding it all in there to make sure it doesn't come out. It's the last thing we want is it to come apart while we're assembling it because uh, you kind of stack each piece on top of each other so a bit hard to tell. Let's also take note where this port is. I don't know if you can see it on this side but each component will have a port that lines up with this one so it can't go in a different spot. There's two sides to this Girola, flat side, and the side with all the grooves on it here. I don't know if you've seen that. So what we're going to do is we've got our port here, which I was just talking about. It's going to line back up here. Just going to 
I don't know if you can see here, I've got my marks from when I pulled it apart. They line up nicely, so that's how this piece goes. I'm happy with that. It's all nice and clean. So what I'm doing is I'm just filling in the gap where the O-ring sits so that it's it, for one, it lubricates the O-ring so it doesn't get pinched or anything like that and it will just have it sit in place. So this one here is called the selector plate. And this is your spill housing, so earlier what we'll do now, before we go any further, is we'll put our spool back in. I'll just make sure it's nice and clean, make sure there's no scoring on it. This one's in pretty good condition. You don't want to force this on, it should slide in quite easily. If you force it, you can scratch it. If it doesn't go down, just give it a bit of a twist and just push it in. So that one's uh, there you go. the return springs in. So there's an inner and outer. Make sure you don't lose them, otherwise you'll get the wrong pressure to return the spool back to where it should sit. And we'll pull the O-ring off. All these, everything should have new O-rings on it, so we'll pull this O-ring off this fitting. Make sure you put your old O-rings away from your new o-rings just to make sure you don't grab them. So what we'll do, this is actually a 22mm socket head or a 7 8 so we're doing that up to around 40 foot pounds. I'll talk this up to spec once it's all together and bolted in. Uh, it's just a bit too hard to do it on the table without any leverage. Hold it down. So now that's all back together, it's all nice and clean. We can bolt this spool housing to the selector plate here. So what we do is we'll add a tiny little bit of Loctite to these thread holes. You don't want to add too much otherwise you might get an air pocket below the bolt and it'll actually make the bolt come loose. So oh, we do that. Yeah. Plate here. Make sure you line the ports. The ports on here so that's how it should sit. There's always a little bit of lubricant because the O-rings can use a bit of uh, oil, hydraulic oil as well. line your holes up with these pieces so
and then we just like that. bolt it from the inside and work our way outwards from the middle so just lightly do it up I probably wouldn't recommend using a rattle gun but I have done this quite a few times so I know when to stop basically Let's all back together. So I'm now put this component in. This also goes in this one. Now what? We're going to actually have to do here because this is a two speed drive motor, it's going to have to be timed. So, I'm going to try and get a close view of this because this is very important. So, I just want to touch on this section. This is the timing for this two speed motor. I just had some lighting trouble. So, what you want to do with these motors is you want to locate a star tooth that points to a roller which in this case is this one just here so you see how it lines up there and we've got a tooth here that lines up straight across so what you want to do is mark the kind of inner spline part that's 11.25 degrees anti-clockwise which is basically just the one beside it so that's that one there, and what we're also going to do is, actually I've already got a mark on this one, you want to line the mark up with that spline and follow it all the way up to the top. So this one, mark it on the top as well, just here. So that's our lined up tooth with the Girola, marked on the next side, and then the spline that matches, so that. So that's that piece and what we've got to do now is put this selector plate port on and put it on which way so that will line up with this side of it with all your ports on it so I've already got an o-ring in here and we're just going to make sure we locate our flushing port and um, make sure it all lines up I've got my marks here on the side. So let's see in there. Okay, so now we've got that piece on. We have to put our valve on. So all your valves or these ports we want them facing upwards and what you actually want to do is with your mark on your tooth you want it to line up with one of these four ports here so any of them doesn't really matter I am gonna drop mine right down there so if you see there's our mark just in here lining up the port so that is now timed to two speed. If it doesn't line up, you'll select two speed and it'll end up hitting basically a flat edge and you'll get no drive at all. It'll just bottom out the circuit. But you won't be going anywhere. If you actually look down, you can see the ports. 
through there. So that's timed. So now all we have to do is put all our seals and our springs back in there and we're good to go. So now we've got this all back together. I'm gonna do this part, bring it over. See that? So in here we got our backup and our main O-ring. So they will actually go on this piece right here. Let's get a recess for the O-rings. What we'll do is we'll put our backup on. And her ring in the middle, and the other back up. We'll do it properly this time, unlike the way we did it last time. Put that grease. Right, Patrol and jelly, same thing. On side. Now with this, I feel it just with a heap of petroleum jelly where all the springs sit because you don't want the springs to come out, so just pack it full because you don't want them going nowhere when you reassemble it. Because what you actually have to do is you've got to flip this piece upside down. So, gravity wants to take effect it, so we try and stop it just by filling it up with this petroleum and jelly. Before I go any further, I actually got to chop these O-rings in here. So, the backup goes on first. And then our main ring. Put some grease around it. Actually, I think we've got this around the wrong way. The O ring should go on first, and then the backup. <laughs> So just to correct myself there, the uh, main O-ring goes on first and then the backup. So now I can fill this thing up with grease. I'm going to put our four springs. Opposite each other. And then chuck some grease under this inner balance ring just on here you've got some dowels some holes in here, make sure the dowels line up with the holes Good. now our other six compression, compression springs sorry. drop them in Now we're going to drop our out of balance ring in. Sure it's nice and clean. Once again, put dowels that line up with some holes in here.
So what I'm going to do is fill this up with lots Make sure you put your O-ring on this face. Don't forget your dowel. Just drops down through the middle. Beautiful. So now what you got to do is hopefully this uh, petroleum jelly will hold this all together. You actually got to flip it upside down. So just take reference to where your marks are and your flushing ports. So we've got flushing port here and it will be a bit of the back. So with any luck, we should be able to flip this upside down without anything coming out. Just like that. Should sit a little high, like that. So that's your compression spring That'll be sitting it up that high, so that's, so that's what you want. Once you tighten that down, you'll um, kind of preload everything and everything will sit nice and tight. I screwed in these in a crossways pattern, like you would a wheel nut on a car. Thank you.